the YouTube. We're going to try to work on getting a little water running in the sink today. And, well, in the whole house. <coughs> Got a little 35 or 40 gallon tank, I guess. And we got a sure flow out of a camper that we're going to try to hook up. I got a bunch of pipe fittings. And the reason I enjoy plumbing so much is no matter what you do to try to get the correct fittings, you always are missing one fitting or something. But anyhow, I got started <coughs> and didn't have any thread tape. So I'm using the ace bag and gonna try to see if that'll th seal up my threads good enough to get me tight and water tight and get me started um i bought some of this one inch clear pressure pipe or whatever to run underneath the house from the tank i'm just gonna set the little tiny tank <coughs> under the house and then hook it up right where the water connections come in but um it actually worked out to where it threads right into these. Um, I don't have anything to hold the camera, so I can't really show you, but it threads right in there. So I'm going to try to thread this in and then put a pipe clamp on it to see how well that'll do. But anyhow, if it works, we'll show the rest of this video getting some water out of the sink, hopefully. So don't laugh. This is ghetto is ever but um not really the correct way to do it but i'm gonna try it and see how it works this is this pipe just and you can actually push it in there but i'm gonna try to thread it and see if it'll just kind of get some threads burnt into the plastic and then it has a really good pretty close to a tight fit so we'll get that burnt in there and then put a clamp on and I think it'll hold um probably not gonna run a whole bunch of pressure through this but let's see if I can do this and hold the camera at the same time anyhow that's the plan I'm gonna just that one's starting to cross there I can't really do it with holding the camera but I'm gonna try it for now, see how it works. But try to slide that in there, um, hook all this up, and then we should have water if all goes well in the sink. Get some dishes washed. Right here's our ghetto water system. We pumped about 10 gallons through it. I guess we're probably filling up the water heater, so probably gonna have to fill this tank a time or two. There's gonna be water going on. But, and our connections there aren't quite watertight. Let me put double up the clamp and see if that helps. But we may get a little water in the sink anyway, out of the deal. We good for a temporary fix. All right, it's gonna be a little noisy because we have our generator going, so we can have power. But uh, I'm gonna take off from where my dad left off from the pump. All right. This is a generator we need to fix. Uh, all right, so my dad showed y'all the pump, right? But uh, the other one didn't work, so we gotta hook this one up. We gotta hook up to a battery. It's a nice 35 gallon tank. We got it hooked up to a different one in the middle of the truck. We got this valve hooked up. But uh, last time we tried this, it didn't work too well because there was a big hole under here. Jordan found it. He was walking and he stabbed the hole in the plastic. Turned out we was leaking 50 gallons out right here. All this is brand new pipe. Uh, the rat got up there and he chewed it out. So now we have water pumping in. I'll take it inside and show you that. Water leaking out because it's full. Electricity. 
electricity too. Near the pole. YouTube homesteading cheaper by the dozen we're got a little bit of a spring and it's kind of in a little seep spot as you can see up through there it gets really wet and there's ferns and everything but it doesn't have a primary source so for temporary um, just to start getting some water going um, we've come down part way and we're building a little berm a little dam across there and then we got this one inch pipe running down here the boys had it set up but they, they were trying this three inch but they couldn't get enough head right here to get up into the tank so we're planning on getting this tank plumbed up today if all goes well and then we're probably about 800 feet from the house down here maybe a little more but pretty decent volume of water so hopefully of course it just rained so that affects it some too but i think we're getting it probably a gallon a minute at least before it rained okay. so we're excited about that um we got two things we're looking at probably we got a sure flow pump and we may run that into um just hook it with a solar panel come out here in the field somewhere and hook a solar panel to it and then run it that way or um off the 12 volt or we've got a little three horse honda pump that we may just fill this tank up and then come down and start the the pump and pump it uphill from there but i give us a start give us some options and and once we get it somewhat developed then we'll have to go back and backfill and put some gravel in and get it set up to where we can keep animals and stuff out of it and then also get the water tested but so that we're working on jacob let's get these little rocks here and take them up there for the dam but if everything goes well today yesterday caleb got the the sure flow pump working in the house and we got a little 35 gallon tank out there don't dig in behind the dam Caleb yes, sir. um but he got the 35 gallon tank hooked up pumped up the water the water tank filled it up and then got water in the house for us didn't you buddy yes sir so yeah. that's kind of exciting and if this goes well we may here within the next couple hours be producing some water on our own land i help my brother yep that's already backing up pretty good to this little dam let's stay out of there isaiah and the head watered where it's coming out See, there's little holes where it kind of seeps through and there's one right there and as you can tell a lot of water comes out there so just that's the primary source right up in here and it comes out of this hole right here whenever there's not so much rain but hopefully we'll get some water going here before long. 